If you've been a luxury lover for a while, I'm sure you've had your fair share of fail. Things that make you realize that hopefully going forward, you're not gonna make the same mistakes, but I know that we all still do. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy, and today I'm gonna discuss with you five of my biggest deal breakers in terms of choosing the next handbag, uh, because every time I don't respect any of these rules, I regret it and I end up wanting to sell or I end up never reaching for the bags. Did you know that the American Chiropractic Association recommends that your bag be less than 10% of your total body weight? Which I still think is way too much because I'm about a hundred and... Honestly, I don't really know because my scale is broken but the last time I weighed myself, I was about 103 pounds. So if my bag is 10 pounds on one side of my shoulder, I'll die because it's so heavy. 10 pounds is way too much. I sold the Deauville tote from Chanel. That is why the on-the-go is probably not going to work for me, especially the GM size, which I feel like the GM size is better than the MM size for that style of bag. We all have different thresholds. I do totally understand that. I personally have joint pains and shoulder pain so I, I really cannot if it's more than two and a half pounds for me personally it's a no-go because when it's empty and it's two and a half pounds imagine with your things inside shoulder straps that are very uncomfortable because either the material is very stiff or they're very thin this one in particular is in Vachetta it's a lot more malleable and also uh, it, this one has broken down already and the fact that you can still kind of wear it as a thicker strap when you do this when you put one beside another it still is comfortable it's still acceptable so the Neverfull for me is still acceptable but I can think of so many other bags or even the same bag in Damier Ben that shoulder strap really digs in I use to have the Speedy B with the Damier Ben leather and that one really digs in and I used to put a little bit more things in it because it really does fit a lot but it really dug in and it really became uncomfortable the size of the bag in comparison to your body so for me I avoid larger bags because they just overwhelm my body frame and plus the whole weight issue is you know adds to it strap length if it's way too short or if it's way too long it's not really just because of the look also when a strap is way too short for example when i tried on the uh on the go mm size it's too short for me to swing my arms around or for me to like kind of rest my arms on the bag comfortably on the other hand when straps are way too long it just looks very odd it makes my body look very disproportionate and also did you know that if your bag was very heavy and your strap was very long it can also mess up your gait so yeah that's something that I definitely want to avoid um, but usually I don't have any problems with shorter straps unless it's a larger bag and I really don't like the fact that my arms are hanging like that but for long straps I usually just try to avoid them noisy chains the boy bag oh my gosh the fact that the chain I mean it's beautiful don't get me wrong the whole look works but because where it holds the chain is also metal the sound that it makes when it slides around or when you put the bag down it just really really annoys me I've only owned the boy bag for a very short time I think part of the reason was the chain I didn't realize it at the time but for me the bag style was a bit too bulky and it sticks out way too much when I wore crossbody and for that one it was actually too short to wear uh, as a shoulder bag I felt because I felt like I didn't want to squish it with my arms when it was uh, you know when I wore it on my shoulder doubled up so yeah that bag just had a couple of issues that was deal breakers for me you guys know that I love my Gabrielle it's one of my most used these chains I don't know the fact that they're more dainty and the fact that there's leather interwoven into them they don't bother me at all I don't really mind that it even twists or anything the noise that these make is so almost kind of like ASMR noise. I don't really mind it at all. I don't know how to explain it. It really has to do with the thicker chains that are uh, moving usually. Uh, that really really bothers me. Actually, if this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful cardigan, it's from Balma. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my new in. I plan on making a video of all my new in. I also showed it in my live stream if you guys have not watched or if you guys do not know that I have a live stream. I actually talked about my entire collection of ready to wear. But yeah, I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below. Did you resonate with any of them? I'm sure you did with at least one of them. Did I not mention one that really bothers you that uh, you feel like really sharing please let me know down below by the way this video was created by my good friend Isabel here on YouTube it was in collaboration 
collection with purse on fleek I was also tagged by my good friend Kat L. Thank you so much, babe I'm gonna be linking all their videos down below if you're brand new to my channel I would love to have you back. So do subscribe Hit that like button, especially if you found value in this video and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye